Over two dozen members of Parliament, Senators and dignitaries attended the annual A Taste of the Arctic event at the National Arts Centre here in Ottawa. Since 2010, the event has been a celebration of Inuit culture and cuisine and a highlight on the parliamentary calendar. The evening was hosted by the Inuit Tupperit Kenatami. Founded in Ottawa in 1971, the ITK is a charitable organization that's dedicated to promoting and celebrating Inuit culture and improving the well-being of Canada's Inuit population. The aim of the event is to bring about more awareness of the Inuit and the culture and the food that they rely on and to, to bring about uh, an understanding that you know not a lot of people know that Canada is longer than it is wider, right? So people need to understand that three-fifths of the land mass of Canada is the Arctic. So we live there and we want to introduce it to people down here and to make sure that people understand who we are. The event coincided with the National Arts Centre's Northern Scene, an arts festival featuring the work of over 200 artists from Northern Canada. The week-long festival included events across the city that highlighted Northern music, theatre, film, literature and tonight, cuisine. This is a celebration I look forward to. Inuit Apparel of Canada hosts it every year, Taste of the Arctic. I am from the Arctic, I'm an Inuk and I'm glad to be here to showcase some of the talent that we've been seeing through Ottawa and it's really just an opportunity for us to talk about the north, meet northerners, talk about the Arctic to people that don't know about the Arctic and really a time to celebrate where we come from and our culture and our history. So. President of the ITK, Terry Odla, feels that events like this will help to keep the Inuit culture alive and believes it's vital that members of Parliament attend to show their support for today's Canadian Inuit. Not a lot of people can come up to the Arctic, so we try and bring the Arctic to them. And it's going to be like amazing entertainment. Uh, the food's amazing. I don't know if you tried the food yet. The char, the caribou, the seal. I mean, it's just... Uh, just very well done and it's just an amazing event. I think at this particular event it's, it's our representational capacity because I can probably say with some confidence that virtually nobody in my riding has been to the Arctic uh, and so if I can speak to others in an informed fashion um, then maybe I'm doing it a service. The Canadian North is still a, a mysterious place for a lot of Canadians and in fact an awful lot of members have probably not had the opportunity to visit the North. Um, I did in my previous life as a journalist um, uh, many times over, over the years. And as the Minister uh, of the Environment, I obviously have responsibilities in terms of uh, adaptation to climate change, the disappearance of the, uh, the polar ice cap and all of the changes that that, uh, that imposes on the people and the environment. So it's a, I think it's a, it's a wonderful occasion. And it's good to see, to see uh, all of our northern territories come together and do it as a, uh, as a joint celebration. The evening's menu featured culinary treats that are native to northern Canada, including Arctic char, caribou, and seal meat. Well, I used to live in the Yukon myself for almost 10 years, so anything to do, anything above 60 is a wonderful thing, but not just in support of my colleague Dennis Bevington, but the people of the north, um, the seal harvest, the, the country food, uh, trying to get people back into their regular diets that they had in the past, because as you know, um, obesity and diabetes now is running rampant north of 60, so these type of events show us in the south what quality food is really all about, and so it's a wonderful event working in a cooperative nature and it's a great opportunity for people of the north to show themselves off and it's great. Best food in town. Like these guys know how to throw a fantastic feast. It's called Taste of the Arctic and we are getting a taste. I had some char, I'm looking forward to some other food and it's uh, a great part of our heritage that I love learning about so I can teach more in my riding. By the end of the night, guests left with a real taste and feel for Inuit culture and cuisine. The evening's organizers are hopeful that next year's event will be even bigger.